Okay, here's phase one of my biochemical barrels, the toxic barrels. Um, we had to cut these, <laughs> these 55 gallon barrels actually had the lids that were not detachable, so we had to cut the lids off them using a jigsaw um, and a circular saw on one because of the, it was really a lot thicker. But anyway, we cut the tops of these off, which we're spray painting over there. Okay, so we're painting those black. The barrels are completely black, and we're going to paint the insides um, fluorescent green. I'm waiting for the rope lights to come in to add around the tops of the barrels, and then we're going to cover those with great stuff foam, spray paint those fluorescent green, so that when you plug it in, it will look like green glowing goo coming out of the tops of the barrels. Rope lights. I got these, these are about 18 feet. I picked them up online. I think I got them for under 10 bucks. Um, somewhere on eBay, I think, is where I picked them up. Ace Hardware, Surplus or something, Discount.com. Okay, so what I did is I wrapped the rope light around the top of the barrel, and then this is the front where the molten, like all the, I mean, all the toxic garbage is going to be kind of spilling out of the front. So being the front of the barrel, I'm not going to do the whole, the whole thing. And then I wrapped the rope through, drilled the hole, put it through the hole, and then I wrapped it around the inside of the barrel. So it will glow from the inside. Um, I have to cover the, the rope light over with great stuff foam and then spray paint it with the fluorescent green paint and then I'll finish off the inside of the barrel. I, okay, I applied all the great stuff foam so I just threw the barrel lid on there. It looks like I'm going to have to add some to the lid kind of coming off so it evens out and it looks, looks a little bit better. But that's what the lid looks like so far, or the rim looks like so far. And tomorrow I will paint all the foam, uh, that green neon paint color, and add some more gray foam. I need to go pick up some more gray foam for the lid. And this is phase two. All right, guys, here is the finished product. He, he, if it was darker in this basement, you'd be able to see the thing glowing a little bit better. But, you, you know, I think you get the idea. So, this is going to be my biohazard toxic chemical barrel trash can slash trauma, whatever you want to call it. I'm waiting for uh, the barrel lifter to come in from DC Props. And then I have to figure out what kind of a, a head or a torso that I'm going to put on top of that barrel lifter so this thing uh, will pop up. So, one barrel down, one more to go.